get you the compensation you deserve after an offshore work accident. Human and offshore workers are at risk every day of suffering and serious injury at work. There are many dangers to that while working on offshore vessels such as fires and explosive gas leaks, heavy objects falling, and extreme weather conditions. Hurricane laws are to protect workers at sea and ensure that in the event of an injury, they are afforded sufficient compensation, including maintenance and cure. Understanding maritime law can often be complex. Many workers are insured to this type of maritime law applies to their injury claim. We have seen many workers accept compensation from their employers that is not adequately covered the injury cost and which they would not ever be paid at a later date. As such, it is extremely important that you speak with an experienced maritime lawyer as soon as possible if you have been injured offshore. At around what pains, we have a team of maritime attorneys that can help you at every stage of your case. We know how difficult and stressful it can be to be injured at work and have to worry about paying for all of your costs. Because of this, we want to help you file a claim under the right maritime law to get you compensated for your injuries and ensure that your rights are protected. Hassan Gavistan and Brokat Sasses of Mountie and Maritime Lawyer. Maritime law, sometimes called Maritime law, is a set of laws that applies to maritime workers, employers, and people injured. Generally, the laws govern all maritime accidents and events that occur on the high seas, such as all cut from accidents, flash accidents, and cargo ship accidents. The high seas reverse the water beyond the territorial waters of a country or a state. Maritime law also applies to territorial waters that is within 12 miles of the shore. Maritime law functions as one of the oldest sets of laws in the country and such as it experienced constant change. Traditionally, maritime law has applied to accidents and events that occur on the high seas. However, it now applies to all, to all navigable waters in the United States. Defining navigable waters under the law can sometimes be confusing and most of the law that we use today is based on previous cases attempting to offer a clear definition. Currently, navigable water is defined as water that can act as a convenient highway over which commerce is or may be carried on with other states or foreign countries. So, if a body of water enables spread or commerce with another state or a foreign country, it is governed by maritime law. Bodies of water that are part of greater navigable waters will also be governed by maritime law even if they do not directly connect to another state or country. As such, a body of water that is closed off by a large piece of land or landlocked will be governed by that law rather than federal maritime law. There are maritime cases heard in Houston, Texas. Houston State Maritime Law is based entirely on federal law provided by Article 3, Section 2 of the United States Constitution. As such, the federal courts have jurisdiction over all cases involving personal injury and damage to property and navigable water. The only area that state courts may apply their own discretion is in relation to the compensation process for victims. Although federal law governs all maritime injuries, injured workers are and seamen may be entitled to bring maritime claims instead and federal courts and custom. Injured maritime workers can bring a personal injury claim under the Jones Act in Texas State Court. And offshore oil rig workers can also bring a federal law case to a state court. The crossover between state and federal maritime law can be confusing and often the workers are unsure whether they can bring a claim to a state or state court. One of the maritime lawyers from our law firm can offer you advice on your injury case and help you bring your case to a state or federal court. The Foreign Maritime Law Act in Texas Maritime injury cases and property damage cases are dealt with using a series of acts and general maritime law principles that have been built up over many years. The 
Legal principles of learning derives from compensation and medical expenses to an optional injury and jurisdiction for claims are set out in these acts. Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act. The Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act, LXWCA, serves to compensate many different types of American employees. Some examples of workers that can claim under these acts include harbor construction workers, longshore workers, dock workers, cargo workers, ship repairs, ship builders. In order to make a compensation claim under this act for a maritime injury, the worker must demonstrate that they are a maritime worker and that their injury occurred on navigable waters or adjacent to such waters, including dock, piers, etc. Other Continental Shelf Lands Act The Other Continental Shelf Lands Act is an extension of the LHWCA. Workers who are injured on the outer continental shelf of the United States are entitled to make an injury claim under this act. They must show that their work was in relation to exploring and product, producing natural resources. If you work on an outer continental shelf or lake, you may be entitled to file a an injury claim under this act. However, if you are employed by the U.S. government, a foreign government, or state government, you will be exempt from filing a personal injury claim under the Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act. Then, on the High Seas Act, all tasks that occur on the high seas outside of the state's territorial waters are covered under the Death on the High Seas Act. This act provides that family members of workers and passengers who die due to an accident that occurred caused by wrongful act, neglect, or default occurring on the high seas can bring a lawsuit. Family members can only recover compensation for pecuniary losses like sick loss and will be unable to recover medical expenses and funeral costs. The status of limitation for bringing claims under this act is three years. Injured seamen can make a personal injury claim against their employer for coal or official negligence in a state or federal court. So I think that's all my thing. Thank you for watching. Bye.